Good morning, Fat Fam, and welcome back to another yoga workout. I'm here with my yoga baby again, who found my birthday balloon. It was my birthday last Sunday. And um, yeah, <laughs> I hope this keeps you entertained while we do a gentle stretch and tone workout that you can do anytime you feel like you want a little something for yourself. You know, you just want to stretch and you want to open up your entire body and tone in all the right places and feel re-energized. All right, so meet me in all fours. We're starting on all fours. Make sure your hands are underneath your shoulders, your knees are underneath your hips, and your knees are hip distance apart. I have someone <laughs> who is here, so um, we have to make it work. And then inhale, arch your back into a cow pose, and exhale, round your back into cat. And really feel your spine. Inhale, and exhale. Giving your spine and your back some love is so crucial, especially as a new mom, or if you've been a mom for longer time, because chances are you're carrying someone heavy around 24 seven, and this really can take a toll on your back. So it feels so amazing to just open up and get everything moving and loosen up. And then you can also move your hips from side to side, like really, like a snake kind of move your back around and then also your neck and then switch sides into the other direction and really breathe concentrate on your breath and let all the tension go and on your entire back side and then when you feel that your back is all loosened up and ready to go, then push yourself up into your first downward facing dog. So put up your toes, push your back onto your feet, and then up into downward facing dog. And you can either keep your legs bent if it's still early in the morning and you're not as flexible yet, or if you feel more flexible, then also feel free to straighten your legs and make sure your spine is straight really push your booty up into the air and deep breath in and out of your nose And there you go. Chicka boom. <laughs> and you can also pedal your feet if you need a little more loosening up of the back of your legs. <laughs> the balloon has to go anywhere now. <laughs> okay. And then with the next inhale, reach up your right leg into the air. And then put it between your hands and come up into your first warrior one. The back of your leg is in a 45 degree angle. Make sure your front leg is bent and then you can still see your toes. And extend your arms towards the ceiling. Shoulders are away from your ears. And really tighten your abs. The pelvis is tucked a little bit forward. And feel a nice stretch in the inner thighs. And really breathe into the stretch. Feel your strength, the strength of the earth coming through the soles of your feet and flushing through your entire body and from your fingertips. Knees can be, your knee can be 
on the mat and then extend your arms towards the ceiling again and feel a nice stretch here in the psoas muscle this can be very tight especially when you're stressed all the time and you know as moms sometimes we don't have a dull moment so stretching out this muscle is really really nice and then bring your arms towards the side into a eagle pose. Open them up and really open up your heart space. And one more deep inhale and exhale. And then release and bring your right foot a little bit outside of the mat and bring your hands inside for a lizard pose. If you feel comfortable enough, then you can even count onto your forearms. And this is a really amazing deep stretch for your hips. Hips are also the part of our body that stores stress the most. Stretching out your hips to really help you feel calm again and take care of your kids the way they deserve. And then the next inhale, come up and then push yourself back. Your, your front foot is flexed. And sit slightly back. You can also grab your front toes with the two fingers and feel a nice stretch at the back of your legs. It's very important that you try to keep your back as straight as possible. So if you can't reach down yet, then maybe get a pillow or a block or whatever you have in your household that you can support yourself with. Carry your baby around 
to lift it up from the ground, put it back down, or even run after it if it already crawls, or if you have a toddler who already runs. flexible you are further away and then push yourself up and exhale come down to the ground either on your forearms again or holding a cushion with your hands and also resting your head
yourself back into a downward facing dog and let's do the climbing downward dog on the left side so inhale raise your left leg towards the ceiling exhale connect with your right elbow and i have a little helper you know and exhale connect <laughs> You guys are going to do some yoga, my sweaty nose. <laughs> Bonus points for giving the baby a kissy. Exhale, connect. Inhale, extend. Exhale, connect. And inhale, extend.
her know of that pain. Make sure your back is flat on the floor. And relax. And deep breath. In and out of your nose. And as it close your eyes. from side to side with your lower back and your back a little massage close to your body or a little further away depending on how flexible you are and then just let your legs or your knees fall, fall outwards and really feel a nice stretch in your hips and just release. Again, you can close your eyes and really feel into your hips. Each exhale, let the tension go away from your hips. for joining me today for this yoga tone and stretch i hope you have an amazing day always remember you're doing great you're an amazing mom 
And by taking this time out of your day, you're not only doing something amazing for yourself, you are doing something amazing for your kids and your family as well. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also follow me over on Instagram for all the tips and tricks and latest mom yoga stuff. I'd love to connect with you guys over there as well. And I'll see you next workout. Bye!